two-legged goat walks for the first time thanks to local students. Yeah, William Byrd High School technology class spent six months molding a unique wheelchair and configuring multiple prototypes before finding a model that worked. We can show this to you, right? WSLS 10's Christina Craig follows up on Lily's journey. <laughs> These are Lily's first steps. This two-year-old goat, born with only two legs, is now up and strolling, thanks to her new wheels. Definitely. Like, Lily's never, never walked before in her life. I bet you she's excited. Orion Turner is one of the students part of the technology engineering class that crafted Lily's 3D-printed wheelchair. We met up with the class in November, when all the students had was a styrofoam mold. We really didn't think this was going to happen in this short amount of time. Students tell us over the last six These months, they met every other day and dedicated over 70 hours to this classroom project. It took several failed attempts to get the model just right. So we just basically started out with a sketch, trying to figure out what's going to work, make a prototype, get her in it, kind of figure out what what what's exactly going to work. You have mistakes. You have things that don't work out. And that's one of the important things they've learned, that everything doesn't work. So you go back to the drawing board. Students say the key was finding where Lily balances her weight to create a wheelchair that would give stability. For goats in particular, it's very important that they be upright and that they be standing for their digestive system. So we had concerns with her from the beginning. <laughs> Thanks to a group of young engineers that never gave up, yep. Lily is strutting uh -huh. around. She's already moving her leg, using the movement, so she's just doing really well. <laughs> And will continue to improve step by step each day. In Roanoke, Christina Craig, WSLS 10.